solving quadratic equation by factoring. Okay, now, in order for us to determine if we are going to use factoring, first, dapat, yung given natin is in standard form. When we say standard form, it is equated to zero. Dapat equal to zero. Okay, so since it is already in standard form, we can solve it using factoring. Okay, let us now try to solve. Okay, this is the shortcut method. I'll be drawing x. Okay, so let us multiply the first and the last term. 1 times 6 is 6. Okay, then itong baba, which is we will just copy the middle term. Okay, now how to solve for this? Let us think of a number to be multiplied. Okay, the answer is 6. Then those chosen numbers to be performing the operation, the answer is 5. So, ulitin ko, kapag nag-multiply ka ng number, ang sagot ay 6. Kapag sinagutan mo yung operation ng dalawang numbers, ang sagot ay 5. O, uh, kunyari, 6. Think of a number to be multiplied. The answer is 6. So, I'm thinking of 3 and 2. So, 3, this is positive. 2, this is positive. If I multiply, the answer is positive 6. Okay? Performing the operation, positive 3, positive 2. The answer is positive 5. So, meaning that satisfied, I will be using 3 and 2. So, dividing it by the first term, 3 over 1, 2 over 1. First term is this. Okay? Since we don't have any first term, automatic 1 yun. So, para mas madali, ito lang. Kapag 1, ang sagot lang dyan, which is x plus 3, then the quantity x plus 2 is equal to 0. Okay? So, the factors are x plus 3, and x plus 2. Ngayon, we're going to equate it to 0 each factor. Okay, so x plus 3 is equal to 0, x plus 2 is equal to 0. To get the value or the root, we're going to transpose 3. So that is x is equal to negative 3, change the sign. Here, the other one, x is equal to negative 2, change the sign. So meaning the roots are negative 3 and negative 2. When you say the roots, Roots are the possible or the values of x. Okay, if we will substitute negative 3 here, let us try. Negative 3 to be squared, that is positive 9. Okay, plus 5 times 3, negative 3, that is negative 15. Okay, plus 6 is equal to 0. So, we have here 9 and 6, that is 15. A positive and a negative, that is negative. 15 minus 15 is equal to 0. Okay? So, meaning, the value of negative 3 is 1 of the roots. Okay? Now, let us substitute negative 2. So, negative 2 to be squared, that is positive 4. Okay? Plus, negative 2 here, times 5, that is negative 10, plus 6 is equal to 0. So, we have here two positives, that is 10 minus, because of this, they are different sign. So, minus 10 is equal to 0. So, that is... 0 is equal to 0. So, meaning, the roots are negative 3 and negative 2. Again, roots, ito yung mga value ni x na kapag sinabstitute mo, ang sagot is equal to 0. Bakit dalawa? Because we have here the exponent of 2. Okay? It is in the second degree. Laging dalawa ang sagot sa quadratic equation. Okay, let's have another example x squared minus 5x minus 24 is equal to 0. We will solve it using factoring. Okay? It is already arranged in standard form. Okay. Now, I told you we are going to form x. Okay? Multiplying the first to the last term, this is automatic 1 times negative 24. That is negative 24. Okay? We will just copy negative 5, the middle term here. Okay? Now, thinking of a number, the answer is negative 4. So, meaning, isa sa kanila ay negative. Okay? Performing the operation, the answer is negative. So, ibig sabihin, ang mas malaking number, siya yung negative. Okay? Ngayon, kunyari ang hula mo lang, for example, ha, manguhula tayo. Okay? Naisipan mo si 6 sa kasi 4. Okay? So, 6 times 4, that is 24. So, meaning, we have one of the two is negative. Kunyari, negative 6. Uh, perform mo to. Negative 6 sa positive 4. Is it negative 5? No. Right? Okay, so again, let us try to think of another number. So, sana naiintindihan ako, ha? Okay, now, so think of a number. The answer is 24, negative, if you multiply. So, I'm thinking of 8 and 3. Okay, since 8 is bigger 
means that is the negative. Let us try to multiply. Negative 8 times 3, that is negative 24. Negative 8, positive 3. Let us perform the operation. Ang sagot ay negative 5. Tumpak. Okay. So again, we have negative 8. Since divide natin yan sa first term na 1, then 3, divide natin yan sa first term na 1. Okay. Ngayon, since 1 lang naman ang ating denominator, so we have the answer since that is negative, that is x minus 8, quantity, times the quantity x plus 3 is equal to 0. Okay? So these are now the factors. Getting the root, let us equate each to 0. So x transpose lang natin is equal to positive 8. In short, palta mo lang sign yan. Paltan mo lang ng sign yan. So x is equal to negative 3. So these are what we call the roots. 8 and negative 3. So let's have another example since this time we have 6 as the coefficient of x squared. So meron ng value yung a natin, right? Okay, so it is in standard form already. Let us try to solve. Okay, let's make an x. Ang ilalagay natin dito, the first times the last. So 6 times negative 10, that is negative 60. Then we'll just copy 11 here. Okay, now, let us try to think of two numbers to be multiplied. The answer is 60. Kunyari, naisipan ko. Uh, 10 and 6. Okay. If I multiply 10 and 6, that is 60, right? So 1 should be negative. Okay. Since yung middle term natin, 11. 10 and 6. If I'll be performing, if I add the 2, 16. If I subtract the 2, that is 4. So it did not satisfy 11. So I'll be changing this, right? Okay. So, 60, I'm thinking of 15 and 4. Okay. 15 times 4, we have 60, right? Okay. Since that is negative, isa sa kanila, negative. Okay. Ngayon, yung 11, tinan nyo ha, si 15 at si 4, pag inad natin, 19. 15 and 4, kapag sinubtract natin, ang sagot ay 11. So, to make it 11, 15 is positive, then 4 is negative. So, 15 times negative 4, the answer is 60, right? So, let us divide by the first term, okay? The first term is this, the 6, the coefficient, okay? Let us get the lowest term, 15 and 6. What's the GCF? We can divide 15 and 6 by 3. So, pag dinivide natin kay 3 yan, so, 15 divided by 3 is 5, 6 divided by 3 is 2, then... Negative 4 and 6 can be lowest term. So, divisible by 2. Negative 4 divided by 2 is negative 2. 6 divided by 2 is 3. Okay, meron tayong denominators. So, the denominator, that will be the first term. So, that is 2x positive 5 times the quantity 3x negative 2 is equal to 0. So, these are the factors. Okay? Now, finding the roots, equating each factor to 0. Okay. Pinactor lang natin. So, let us transpose this. So, 2x is equal to negative 5. Nilipat. Since my coefficient si x dito, let us divide both sides by 2. So, x is equal to negative 5 over 2. Then, the other, 3x is equal to transpose positive 2. Since there is a coefficient, which is 3, let us divide. So, the value of x is 2 thirds. Okay. Ngayon, in short, napansin natin 5 over 2, negative 2 over 3. The roots are, the moment that you got this, change mo lang yung sign. Change mo lang yung sign, then those are the roots. 